All right, High Level made some really good updates to their review system that make it so much easier to use for agencies and if you're just a business utilizing High Level by yourself. Super simple to use. I'm going to walk you through how to get everything set up to utilize all of the features for reviews inside of High Level. We'll get started by coming into the reputation section here on the left hand side in the sidebar. And then we're going to go over to the settings section here in the top tab. And then on this left hand side menu, we're going to go to the review link section. Now here's where you're basically determining where you want to get your reviews. I would say for 99% of small businesses, that should be Google. There's not as much value sending people to Facebook or in many markets to Yelp. So I would say focus on Google first until you get a solid number of views. And for many of you, you'll never stop focusing on those Google reviews. If you've already connected your Google business under the integration section, it'll appear here for you to be able to select. If you haven't, that's not a problem. You can always get your Google reviews link directly from Google. But like I said, if you haven't integrated, the easiest way is to go under the main settings for your sub account, go to integrations, and then find your Google account right here. Click sign in with Google, you'll be good to go. Next, you're going to go to the email request section and we're gonna set up email and SMS, super easy to do now. So under email requests, we're gonna turn this on if it's not on yet. And this is where the new updates at high level added can be found. They added the ability to automatically customize and send follow-ups. Under this button that says set email templates, you can choose which of your email templates go out on the first email and then up to five subsequent retries. So all you have to do is click on the template here and select the email, but we need to make those emails first. So you can simply click create new, give the template a name. I'll name this one review one. So it's the first email that goes out when I request a review. You can fully customize this email to look like whatever you want. And really the most important thing here is that link that sends them over to your review link, which is what you set up with Google or wherever you chose to go get reviews. And that's using this merge tag right here. I found in my agency that the email itself doesn't really matter as long as it's branded for your business and it's really simple for somebody to click to leave the review and it's personalized coming from you. It typically doesn't matter what it looks like. I've tried complex looking ones like this and I've tried just basic simple text emails. Neither one seems to edge out the other as long as it seems genuine. So, okay, we've got review one and now I can clone this template and now I can edit the template, clicking the three dots, click edit template. I'm gonna name this one review two plus, right? I'll just say I'm gonna have just one secondary follow-up email that's gonna go out. I'll customize this email to be a little bit different from the first, typically add a little bit of language about being a follow-up email, whatever your brand voice would be saying. So we can add as many as we want again and we can come under set templates here. And the first template is gonna be review one, the second template will be review two. And here's where we're going to change the subject line for that email. You know, the typical, like, how was your experience with business name? You know, you can do like, would you mind leaving us a review? Things like that. The only thing I found over the years with subject lines is that it's good to have the name of the business in it. Otherwise, it really doesn't matter what it says as long as it insinuates or hints at the idea of we're asking you to leave us a review. Would you mind leaving, you know, Dr. So-and-so or Jay's Plumbing or Convology, right? Just put your business name in there so that they know who it's from. And then hit save once you have all your emails and subject lines done. And now you can see here at the top, you can choose when does the email go out after check-in. Now it says here when to send the email out after quote unquote check-in. Not many businesses are going to use the check-in. What essentially that means is when it's triggered, um, we're gonna use an automation to do that. Super, super simple. Um, but you could say immediately. And then until clicked, repeat every, I would typically do three days is good. And then I would just do a maximum retries of two. Now, since I only had two emails in here and I chose to do two retries, I am going to need to add another email here. Had I left this at just one retry, it would have been fine. My two emails that I created would have sufficed. So you can see it did add another email because I chose two retries and I would want to come in here, click on edit templates and make any necessary adjustments. <laughs> but you can see there's like a completely separate email that they dropped in here. Um, and I personally like these lighter colored ones. That's a decent graphic as well. Kind of interesting. Uh, but, you know, customize it, make it fit your brand. Okay, so we've got our email that goes out immediately. And then every three days, it's going to remind them up to a maximum of two reminders. So roughly about a week or so. Next, we're going to the SMS request tab. We're going to turn this on as well. And this is up to you if you want to text people to ask them for a review. Typically for local businesses, this is the one that's going to probably work a little bit better. It's generally the exact same as the email settings. You can go to set SMS templates. You can see here, exact same concept. You just select a template. We can click the pencil and you can customize it. We'll say that this is review one. 
and then you can customize the text. Really the most important thing here is this review link. This is going to insert the link for them to click on to go and leave you a review wherever you've configured. I'd remove things like location name and just write in your business name instead. So thank you for choosing Convology. Would you take 30 seconds to leave us a review? Honestly, it's not a bad default. I would probably leave this for most of my clients unless I wanted to customize it a bit for their brand voice. Now you can also toggle on to add an image here. If you might make a nice little graphic or if you use a tool like Nifty Images where you can customize an image that has like the person's name on it, it would be like you holding up an iPad that says, hi, Doug, you know, gimmicky like that. Um, but there's a charge for services like that. Nifty Images is the best one that I've used. It's $25 a month. I'll be honest, I don't think it makes that big of a difference. I have tested it on a couple dozen clients. What matters most is whether they had a good experience with your business. And since we are talking about SMS requests, when people get a text, what do they do? They look at their phone regardless, so you have their attention, and that image doesn't necessarily put you over the top. But if you did want to use an image, you could upload it. You could add a custom URL to link to it. This is what you would do with Nifty Images. If you're interested in a tutorial on how to do Nifty Images, go ahead and let me know. Um, I'm not going to do it in this video just because I don't think it makes that big of a difference. But if you do want to know, let me know. So once you've got your SMS template done, go ahead and click Save. And then you can just duplicate this to do like SMS request number two. So I'll just call this one review two. Customize it if you want to make the second text a little different. I think it would be beneficial on texts more than emails, uh, mostly because if someone gets a text from you and they open it up and they see it, if they see you're just sending the same request twice, I don't know, it might make them think, oh, you're just hitting me up with the same message. Maybe not. Something you could test if you want to, but it takes five seconds to tweak the second message. So same concept again, you can send out the first one immediately and then every three days, maximum retries. On, on SMS, I'd say do a one retry. On emails, two is a sweet spot that I found. That part is all set up and now we have to decide how we want to trigger these review requests going out. Let me show you what I do in my agency. I like to set up two different ways to do it. I'll come in under automation here on the left-hand side, click create a workflow and start from scratch. The first method is by tagging. So you can simply say when someone receives a tag, and that tag could be a specific tag. When the tag is added, we could say request review or whatever it might be. What happens? Well, we just come in here and say request review. So send review request, and you can say review type. You would do one for email and one for SMS. We don't need to override the review link. If you wanted to do a particular automation campaign that just does Facebook, you could create um, you could create separate ones, but I'm going to say no override. And then we're going to send out another one for send review request. And this one is going to be email. There you go. So you can tag somebody and automatically send it a review request. Now, why is that a decent method? Well, because you could have other automations that could trigger a tag. Or if you're doing like a review reactivation campaign, maybe you've got a client that you're onboarding and part of your service is a reputation management uh, component where you say, hey, give me your CSV of your thousand previous clients or however many you have and we'll do a review reactivation campaign where we send out to all thousand a request to leave you a review about their experience well you would take that csv import it tag all those people and it would immediately send out the review requests and what's nice about this send review request is it's going to automatically take care of all the follow-ups we don't have to build any complex workflow automations here to be like send a request did they click it no wait two days like we don't have to worry about any of that we just enter it in like this and it'll send out all the requests now the other method utilizes the sales pipeline or the opportunity pipeline under opportunities here on the left hand side you can create a pipeline if you're not using one already i'll include some links to videos in the description of this video that show you how to set up and automate this whole process but what I'm going to focus on in this video is this last stage of the opportunity pipeline called request review. For most of the businesses that I work with in my agency, we set up an opportunity pipeline just like this. We automate all the emails and interactions and the staff or the sales team go in and they can move people between different uh, stages of the funnel and they can say, okay, now this person's booked or our system can automatically move them based on what the funnel is all about. And then the last step here is just request a review. Now we can create an automation where when this opportunity card is dropped into the request review column, it triggers a workflow. Coming back into our workflows, creating a new automation from scratch, we can look at method number two, which is the opportunity pipeline. Our trigger is going to be based on the opportunity being dragged into that column. So we're going to select pipeline stage changed, and we're going to select our pipeline. So we're gonna say in pipeline sales, that was one I was looking at, and we're going to say the pipeline stage is 
request review. So when the stage of an opportunity changes to being in the request review column, what's going to happen? Well, you can probably guess we're going to send the review. We'll send one for our email and we'll send one for our SMS. And now this is just like our other one. It's going to send out the review requests for email and SMS. It's going to follow those follow up every three day things that we set up for the number of tries that we set up inside of the reviews. Now there are typically two other settings that I put into this automation. I like to put a little wait period here. So I like to say wait for about 12 hours, 24 hours, uh, whatever you might want to do, or you could do it instantly. Um, but typically my clients will say, you know, I want to put them in that column, but if I change my mind, I want to be able to come back and undo it. So you could insert a delay at the top, but I think typically that's not necessary. You can decide when you're ready to come in and request the review. The other thing that I'll do though, is I will mark that opportunity as one after it's been moved into that pipeline stage. So we'll search for opportunity. We'll choose update opportunity. At the time I'm recording this video, it's called beta. So some of this might change. In the past, it was the create slash update opportunity, but now it's just update opportunity. And it's gonna update it based on the opportunity that was in our trigger that got moved to the request review uh, stage. So we're going to update this opportunity for its status. And we're going to say status is one. So now what's going to happen is the opportunity gets moved into the request review column. That's the final stage of the sales pipeline. A request for review is sent out by email and SMS, and then the opportunity is automatically marked as one. It's just a nice way to automate that process for you or your sales staff. So once they're in that column, they'll disappear automatically after the review request has been sent and they'll be marked as one. And if you didn't want to leave a review, all you would have had to do is not drag them to that column, just manually mark it as one lost or whatever, and it would be out of your pipeline. So you can see sending reviews now with high level is incredibly easy and you can automate different aspects of it, whether it be through your opportunity pipeline or just simply through tags or whatever workflow might be able to trigger that other workflow. Or you could just take those send review request actions and put them in any other automation that you've already built. The options are yours and you have that flexibility. If you'd like to learn more about how to use high level for your business or for your agency with your clients, I definitely recommend you check out this video next. Or if you're looking for more general information and a lot of other tutorials, check out this playlist. I've put a lot of my high level basics for getting started there.